Hey, you kind of like those uh, these, these afternoon games. Yeah, kids and things, yeah it's always fun. Um, building's always rocking. Kids really enjoy it, um, especially when they get to take some time off school. So um, you know, it's always fun to play in the afternoon too. It kind of reminds me of you know playing back in the OHL and uh, nice two o'clock's nice. Wish we had more of them to be honest. How do you feel after that game? The team's uh, basically position hit on Christmas. Yeah, I'm um, good. Obviously got away from us a little bit there in the third, but um, you know we just you know we did wrong there. A couple turnovers to the neutral zone, a couple bad bounces. Uh, we just got to make sure we keep our uh, format. Um, you know, that, that, I think it was that third one. I was unfortunate. Went off the ref, and then you know a quick turnaround. But um, I thought we did a really good job all night of really you know playing our game through the neutral zone and not giving up a whole lot. Mitch, what did you see on the five on three when you held on to the puck and to the curl the neutral zone there? Um, the yeah, so I had time with it. Um, tried to find one of our D men with uh, some time as well, and um, you know found Holly there, and Holly was able to go to Tommy and. We want to try and kill that off as much as we can with the puck in our hands. So um, probably doesn't happen that often, but uh, it was good to get a couple seconds off there. Obvious question, but uh, feels good to go into Christmas on a bit of a winning run here. Yeah, it's always good, um, especially when your last one you win. Um, you want to go into uh, Christmas with uh, a win under your belt. So um, you know, it's all about uh, enjoying your family, enjoying your time with uh, friends and family, and you know, having a great time with one another. Are you guys getting more comfortable with that five forward power play with you? I think so. Um, you know, I think that kill's a lot trickier than people think. Um, they got four guys out there that are really willing to sell out uh, with their bodies, taking a lot of lanes, making it hard to get shots through, and kind of just sitting four tight. That you know, if you got to beat them, you got to beat them with those tips, or you know, every once in a while you get a shot through up top. So um, for us, I think we got better there throughout. I'm just trying to find the lanes, but um, you know, it's tricky playing that kill when they just kind of sit there and, and don't want to let anything through them. But um, it's good by us to just stick with it and, and do what we do. But you will take the win heading into the break. Yeah, um, yeah, they made a little push there. I thought we responded pretty well um, and shut it down, and we got the two points. So uh, enjoy the break with our family and look forward to uh, after and get it going again. Was your goal an example of just how good a scorer Austin is? Maybe he's almost as good a passer. Yeah, it was a great play. Uh, that whole sequence, I thought, you know, we were part on the four check, switching sides, and then things opened up, and Willie made a great play to him, and yeah, Maddie could have even shot that, but he saw me, and yeah. I had an easy tap in, so that was a great play by both of them. You had an excellent year last year, obviously, but this really run you're on here in the last month or so, is this as good as you can play? Yeah, I'm feeling good about my game. I think I'm um, playing, uh, you know, just sticking to my game, getting to the, the dirty areas, going to the net. Be reliable on the defensive side of the, the puck, and then offense will come with that. So, um, right now, I think our line is playing really well together. We're we're enjoying it out there, and um, we want to you know keep it going after the the holidays here. Both, both you and Mitch grew up in Toronto. You put, put yourselves in the seats that both of the little kids there today watching the game. Yeah, that's definitely uh, pretty cool. Um, yeah, we were just those, we were those kids uh, not too long ago, right? And um, looking up to the Leafs and uh, cheering for them growing up in the city. So um, that, I like this kind of game, a two o'clock game, get the kids out, and and uh, it was nice to get a win for them. Were you able to get to many Leafs games as a kid? Yeah, I went to a few. Uh, went to a few when we can, uh, we could, and uh, yeah, so uh, that was fun. Who did you get the belt to? Willie. Yeah. Willie, three points, twenty goals. Uh, he's rolling, so uh, that was an easy choice. How do you feel after that game? You no, know, last last couple of games here, yeah. I got uh, eight goals. You know, good Christmas gift for me, yeah. <laughs> but it's okay, you know. Uh, we got a two two points today. This more important for us, and we get some smile tomorrow. We have a couple of days off. Uh, we just enjoy it. I'm yeah, stay with my family. A little bit, a little bit rest my mental, yeah. Was it, difficult, was it difficult to stay focused when you went uh, like 40 minutes with just the eight shots? It's a hard game. It's the hardest game for a goal, especially after Washington game. I need a... This is what I think, you know, maybe for death is a little bit harder in the first period. You know, I come to the game back really quick, yeah. A little bit different. It's okay, this, this is hockey. I'm, I feel good sometimes. Sometimes we have bad days, yeah. It's, it's life. But we'll be, I will be back um, 27, yeah. And 
a little bit work with my mental on a Christmas break. I mean, like maybe fishing or something here. And uh, with the new energy, new power, yeah, yeah everything is good. How, good. How comfortable do you feel in Toronto with this team? Do you seem to fit right in? Oh, it's unbelievable. How I sit after every game. I really like it, guys. I really enjoy playing in this building. I like it, fans. These guys, a lot of support for me all the time. I not too too much using Instagram, yeah, but sometimes you see uh, how many comments you got, yeah, and uh, everybody said semi great win, yeah. It's it's very sweet. Yeah. Do you know you tied a, a franchise record with nine straight wins to start a season at home? Well, you did. <laughs> <laughs> it's a 55-year-old record. How, how, did, how does that feel? It's, I'm, I don't know. I'm shocked. Uh, <laughs> I'm I'm happy. Yeah. Just but just uh, tight 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 right now. Yeah. We'll see next game. <laughs> <laughs> so you're gonna celebrate Christmas here with your family and your dog? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what kind of dog is it? Uh, King Charles Spaniel. A small one. Yeah, he's bandit. Banditas. Yeah. <laughs> What's his name? Band uh, his name Ruby. Ruby. Yeah, but he's banditas. He's doing wow, whatever he wants. Yeah. <laughs> he's crazy. <laughs> Thanks. Merry Christmas. Yeah, Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Enjoy the break. <laughs> um, how did that game feel for you tonight? Yeah, I think it uh, came out kind of slow in the beginning, but then we uh, got going there, got the two big goals on the, on the power play there, and started off uh, hot in the third, so a um, little too exciting at the end, but a uh, good way to head into the break. You've always been a goal scorer, but you're at 20 already. How does that feel? Yeah, obviously it uh, feels pretty good. Just got to keep going and uh, yeah, keep shooting. How much does a, a winning streak versus a losing skit affect you when there is a holiday break? When? Uh, I mean, regardless, you get time to recharge and, uh, and reset. So uh, that's kind of what we're going to do here. Uh, a lot of games have been playing well. So just take that positive momentum into the break and uh, come out hot uh, after. What's it like to have Samson off, on and off again? What different he brought to this time? Yeah, he's unreal off the ice. Uh, love him. And uh, obviously, his composure and stuff in that. So uh, he's made, made huge saves when he's been playing. And obviously, he had those back to back shutouts. So uh, he's been on fire for us. Is there anything different about your game this year that you think? Are you just bigger, stronger, faster, smarter? Or is it like. I don't know, just trying to play the same way. Just trying to play uh, every game uh, as good as I can. You guys uh, getting more comfortable with the five forward power play unit? Yeah, I think that's, uh, I mean, it took some time to get uh, adjusted to, but I think uh, it started clicking and we had a lot of chances uh, to get on the power play and it was nice to get to. You always have to keep your eye on the back door though sometimes? Or? Yeah, obviously when, uh, I mean, not used to playing in the, I mean, Mitch does a great job back there playing the D, so uh, not too worried about it. You might have the best stuff for the team. Yeah, have you? Sure. Thanks, Thanks, Will. Your thoughts on the game? I thought we had a terrible first period, um, really good second period. Loved how we started the third period, and we did a we did a, a lot of really good things in the third period. I thought, but made a couple of mistakes, ended up in our net, and made the game a lot harder than it needed to be. Do you feel good about where the team is at the break? Yes, I do. Very good. What did you think of the play that Sheldon Mitch made in the five on three? Curled back when it was on the all that time. Yeah, um, it's. Next level stuff. Not many guys are are uh, processing the game in that manner in terms of time, sp timing, and space, and all of those things. Um, it's a little dangerous, just in the fact that the other guys on the ice probably aren't thinking the same way. Um, but uh, in that in that case, huge huge play by him, and and uh, obviously gets us through a tough tough time in the period. What do you like about how the team handled the final minute 10 when you took the penalty and then the goalie up the entire time? Yeah, I just battled. I mean, we've been in that situation. That's, uh, I like that. I mean, obviously, I think we had some opportunities to just ice the game and put it in the net, and, and we were unable to do that. Uh, but in terms of how we played, I thought we didn't panic through that. We've been in that situation before, and it looked like it. Just how important, like for you personally, but just for the team as well, is is a little break like this, a time away from the break? Vital. Yeah, we're fortunate we get an extra day uh, as well, you know, in the early game here today. It's great. I'm still going to get to see both my kids play hockey games tonight. So this is this is this is good stuff. Um, yeah, getting the extra time, I think it's important. No matter 
what I, you know, every every team in, in the league has their own things going on. The schedule is not easy, uh, so some time to breathe uh, and recover and have some fun and be with your family. Uh, I think is is terrific um, and it's needed. So you know, we'll come back out of this and we're right on the road right away uh, to St. Louis, but we won't think about that for a few days. What's the for St. Louis? I think the break's going to be really important for him, and once we come back, I think at that point we should have a better sense of, ex of precisely where he's at. Um, he's, because of you know he's, he's an injured player and all that, he's not going to play the first game back for sure. It's going to be a little bit of a process for him. What do you think of the way Samsonov tonight or today and Murray the other night handled not really getting a lot of shots and then? Yeah, not not easy. I think, you know, you look at the goals, whether it's the other night, the one we gave up, or tonight, you can isolate those and think, you know, maybe, maybe you want some saves there and you handle it differently. But it's not an easy task for a goalie to play. I was thinking about it during the game, just, you know, how we've got to really do a good job of, of preventing, like, the big chance, you know, because long breaks with no action. Uh, and then you saw it there in the third period. All of a sudden, they got two that are in pretty tight. Um, it's, a, it's a tough ask for the goaltender there. So, uh, yeah, I, I, I feel for them in that sense, yet I don't because it's, our team's playing well in front of them and, and, uh, and keeping the chances down and keeping the shots down. Uh, so, you know, uh, they're going to have to get comfortable in that. Is there anything about Ilya that you've learned that's maybe surprised you? I wouldn't say so, you know. Um, I guess I would say just, I don't know, surprise is not the right word, but just that, you know, we talked about it. Since he's come into our facility, we've been really happy with how he's just embraced everything that we've asked him to do. And uh, he stayed with it and he's been structured and, and uh, all of that. You know, these last couple of games, at least statistically, when you look at it, haven't gone the way that I know that he would like them to. So this break comes at a good time for him to, to sort of reset and come back. Um, but he's played very, very well for us and given us a chance to win every game he's played in. Will he, sorry, will he get into 20 goals so fast? Just another thing for the opposition to, to worry about, when, you know, based on what Mitch has done and other guys have done. Yeah, I mean, no secret, we've got multiple... Uh, multiple weapons there offensively that teams have got to be be aware of. I think that uh, you know that line, Matthews, Willie, and, and Bunce were really good again here today. I, I love the way they just went out and grabbed a hold of the game in the third period. They said I, the other night against Tampa, I thought we went into the third. I know we were up two at the time, but we were, I thought we were a little hesitant early on. But today we weren't. We talked like we just wanted to go out and play and get after them, and I couldn't have a better shift and, uh, than we did there. So big moment for them, and then and then uh, got another one as well. So, which um, I think it's on Nylander's goal, which is a terrific goal. But you go back to the shift before that. The Holmberg line is out there. They bring the puck down the rink. They grind the other team down. All three of them get off the ice, and they send out. We send out the Matthews line against tired people and uh, score what ends, ends up being the game-winning goal. So that's uh, that's something that doesn't go unnoticed by the coach. The stretch, you talked about Mekalodin the other day, obviously, but the stretch for the last month or so, is this the best you've seen him? I, I'm sorry, who, who are you talking about? Oh, Bunch. Uh, Bunch has played well. I don't know if it's the best. It, like, you know, these are hard questions for me to answer because I've got high expectations because of what I've seen these guys do. I mean, you know, we quickly forget whether it's Willie or Mitch or Austin, John, you know, Bunce. Like, these guys have set a really high standard. They've played a lot of really good hockey. So that's a tough question for me to answer without sounding like I don't feel like they're playing well because they are. Yet those, those guys have been really good players, you know. So um, I think they're just doing what they're capable of.